My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid fried chicken popcorn, get whatever you may need! And I hope you enjoy the video. Get a sneak peek at PlayStation's next generation plans. What to expect from Sony's next gen PlayStation? Hi! Oh, what this is? Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm! Well, uh... This was unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> this came out the blue. Sucker woke up and I see PlayStation 5 trending on Twitter. I'm like, what happened? What did I miss? <laughs> because it was literally PS5 was trending. PlayStation was trending. Mark Cerny. Next Gen. I'm like, what the freak did I miss? <laughs> I'm like, these suckers at Sony, what did these fools just do? So, um, just in case you guys didn't hear the uh, news, this happened like, I don't even know what time it, I woke up at like 9 a.m. today, which is early for me, trust me, and, uh, it jump was already trending, so, uh, you know, it happened like early this uh, morning, um, Mark Cerny, uh, you know, who, you know, has, uh, I, I think he worked on PS3 and PS4, you know, he was like, you know, a big uh a part of just the whole development and like the hardware of those two not really sure with ps2 whatever but i don't know but i know mark cerny has been with playstation you know for uh a while so mark cerny he had an interview with uh wired i think and it was about you got it the playstation 5 and this sucker was just like dropping news like like he you know like he was just talking about ps4 software i'm like <laughs> this was just like dropping specs for playstation 5 and i'm like hold on <laughs> hold the freak on so definitely got a few stuff to talk about you know he uh dropped some specs and and uh, you know news of playstation 5 the next generation playstation you know which has been talked about let's be real for at least a little over a year now like people were talking you know people were talking about playstation 5 last year you know as much as i was like suck if we just starting to get good games now and y'all trying to talk about ps5 <laughs> like and it seems like it always happens that way like when games are like really starting to really get good in the generation that we're in that's when the next gen consoles come out junk happened last year for ps3 like we got Last of Us, Grand Theft Auto 5, Bioshock Infinite, before you know it, PS4 and Xbox One drops. It's like, but yeah, um, PlayStation 5. PlayStation 5 uh, is the topic of today. And I will say, this generation is getting a little stale. Like, I, I, I feel like this generation is getting staler at a quicker pace than last generation. Because last generation, around this time, I'm like... Bro, these games are amazing. <laughs> like, right now, it's kind of like... So, I'm actually kind of, for the first time ever, kind of ready. Like, really anticipating these next-gen consoles. You know, that's nor that's normally not me. But, um, PlayStation 5. This man, Mark Cerny, you know, in his soft tone, uh, spoken voice is like, So, yeah, the PlayStation 5 is going to, uh pretty much destroy the xbox next generation and here's why <laughs> you know how mark Cerny got that like real soft spoken voice i can't believe i'm really talking about playstation 5 right now um a true next generation <laughs> a true next generation experience uh so playstation 5 and 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 this is why i i'm and, and i i I'm, jesus Christ, i'm trying to stay on topic but this is why I felt like 
even though Sony is not participating in E3, I don't really feel like it matters because these suckers legit are trending and they didn't, <laughs> they literally just put out a link like, oh yeah, and here's a uh, interview of us talking about PlayStation 5. Like, you know, even though we enjoy watching E3, you don't necessarily need E3 no more to get whatever you're trying to get out. And this is clear proof of it. Rockstar been, you know, been a new, uh, you know, been new about this for years. And now you, you're seeing other companies start to follow suit. So that's why I feel like even though, yeah, Sony won't have, you know, a presence this year at E3. I don't necessarily think that means like these suckers won't be dropping news during e3 and if it gets to the point to where to where suckers are more focused on sony's twitter account than e3 itself <laughs> that is going to be hysterical <laughs> that will be hysterical but anyways um so mark cerny you know dropping details dropping news dropping info dropping specs about that playstation 5 First off, it won't be dropping this year. You did have a, you know, a little core group of people that really thought next gen consoles was coming late this year. So stop, you're on crack. It's not, <laughs> it's not happening. I'm really thinking it's gonna be like late 2020. You know, I feel like 2020 is gonna be like the final year, kind, of, you know, kind of just how it was for um, PS4 and Xbox One. You know, P. P, uh, PS4, I think, dropped on November 16th, 2013. I think that was the exact day. I think it's going to be like late 20, like late 2020, just like that. Like November, December ish next year. So it's not dropping this year. Stop it. Um, you know, he did say though several game studio, uh, several game studios already do have dev kits. And they've been working on, you know, stuff, you know, just trying to, you know, test out, you know, what this thing is going to be able to do. So dev kits are out there, you know, game, you know, devs are, you know, using these PS5 dev kits and such like that, you know, trying to, you know, see what it's capable of doing and stuff like that. So know that um, this jump will have 8K graphics support. Um... I didn't even get a 4K TV yet. <laughs> and and I have a PlayStation 4 Pro. These like, is talking about 8K is going to have 8K graphic support. And this this is the whole thing like and I've seen for like don't get it twisted. 4K looks amazing, you know, but it's just like you know, a lot of people still don't even have a like I don't 4K TVs are not the standard yet. It's not. Like, a lot of people, I still see people, like, every day, you know, when I be at Walmart or Target, Best Buy, whatever, people buy, you know, buying 10A, you know, 1080p smart TVs. Like, I feel like, I feel like 1080p TVs have finally, you know, become, like, you know, the standard for, like, most households. Hell, some people still got 720p uh, TVs, but I really feel like 1080p is just really starting to become like, you don't have a 1080p TV? What's wrong with you? <laughs> you know, I, I personally feel like that's just becoming like the norm. Suckers don't really, uh, of course, you're, start, you're starting to see a lot more people, you know, get into 4K. But I don't feel like, you know, even with this push, you know, that we've seen this gen of 4K gaming, you know, 4K game, 4K gaming and, you know, 4K, uh, blue, uh, 4K blue. If there's one thing that pisses me, <laughs> I'm gonna freaking hate stuttering sometimes. I be wanting to choke myself like, suck it if you don't get the one. <laughs> but 4K Blu-rays, I don't feel like that has even... You know, yeah, people are out there, you know, uh, fine, you know, finally start to invest into that stuff. But I feel like 4K maybe might become the standard next generation. Maybe. <laughs> you know, so the fact this junk is going to have 8K graphic support. Good God almighty. Uh, that's cool. Like, don't think I'm like, you know, slandering that. But 8K? Suck it. Can we at least like... 
really start to accept 4K as like the norm, you know, but 8K graphic support. Uh, let's see. Um, it's going to have an eight core CPU. This will be based on AMD Ryzen or Risen third generation line. Um, so listen, when it <laughs> like, I, I know somewhat about, you know, specs and stuff like that, but when it gets into, like, that technical, like, stuff, like the CPUs and GPUs and, like, the specs of that, and they start talking, and, and they start talking about 6-core, 8-core, you know, uh, slash... Third generation, fourth gen, uh, uh, gen, uh, gen, uh, generation Intel i7 premium, uh, <laughs> Intel i7 premium 356. I'd be like, suck it, pause. Is this junk strong or not? Cause you, cause you confusing the freak. <laughs> But yeah, um, so it will have an eight core CPU. This this will be based on AMD uh, Risen or Ryzen's third generation line. I'm sure this junk is powerful as freak. So uh, that will be uh very good. It's also not going to have ray tracing support. I'm gonna be real. I didn't even know what this junk was. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> what is ray tracing support? First off, ray tracing support, that's like really stuff like for PCs type stuff. And even like that stuff like used in like movies and stuff to like get the absolute best, you know, type, you know, lighting and stuff like that. So it takes a lot of, it takes a lot of power, but ray tracing support pretty much means, um, Rendering technique for generating <laughs> this is literally what it said when I looked this junk up and after I read this I was like So Can you explain that again? <laughs> That's literally what I said, but it means rendering technique for generating an image by tracing Oh Jesus, hold up. Let me, let, let, <laughs> let me start over ray tracing support this means when uh whatever is rendering a technique for generating an image by tracing the path of light as pixels in an image plane and simulating the effects of its encounters with virtual objects that's what it means in simpler uh peasant terms if you will uh lighting effects is gonna look real as <laughs> The lighting effects is going to look lifelike. It's going to look real as freak, okay? It's going it's going to look like real life when you have ray tracing support as far as the lighting goes and, and like the way they bounce off right, the objects and such stuff like that. It's just so much more basic terms that you can use, but these suckers like to speak in weed form, you know? <laughs> so well that's ray tracing support, so definitely um that's that's a good thing. Lighting in games is going to look way more lifelike, you know, you, especially, you know, just, 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 just with almost every game we play, you know, especially when it comes to graphics and just the visual fidelity of the game. Lighting is a huge key of, you know, what makes a game like really pop out. So stuff like that is definitely going to make games look better. Um, one thing that, you know, kind of, I mean, I wasn't really shocked by it, but I was like, oh, okay, cool. Hard drives no longer. No more hard drives. No more. You know, I I I still remember, cause I think, actually Xbox was the first to do it. I think, um, cause I remember when the Xbox One, well, the 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 a uh, true Xbox One came out. The OG Xbox that junk had a hard drive, and at that time it was like, what the hell is this? Like, where's my, where's <laughs> Where's my memory card? <laughs> you know, but when the OG Xbox came out, it had like a built-in hard drive. And that was like a new thing at the time. It's like since then, you know, consoles have always had hard drives. Xbox 3 360, one thing I really liked about the 360 is how the uh hard drive was external. That's when it's like outside, right? Or is it no, cause in cause internal means when it's inside, right? Yeah, so it had like a ex <laughs> Xbox 360 had an external uh, hard drive, and I always loved that about it because it was like so easy to upgrade if you wanted to. SSDs are better because they're faster. So 
PS5 will have no hard drive. It will be SSD instead. That is going to be really great as far as load times for games. You know, uh, they actually tested this on on the dev kit with the uh, fast travel in uh, Spider in Spider Man actually, and uh, how it could take up to 15 seconds. I don't even know it took that long, but how it could sometimes take up to 15 seconds to like fast travel from one location to another on like base ps4s while you're playing spider-man on these dev kits it took 0 0.8 seconds so uh yeah as far as load times for game just the overall performance of the game ssds are better than hard drives because things load way quicker you know on ssds so that's going to be cool um it will be backwards compatible with ps4 games i would want more than just ps4 backwards compatibility but that would make of course, you know, the system costs more. Imagine if PS5 was fully backwards compatible, and it probably wouldn't be, but just imagine it could do PS4, PS3, and let's say PS2 games. PS1 going too too far back. But just just imagine that. Like it would just make PS5 cost more. PS4 backwards compatibil uh, compatibility compatibility. PS4 backwards compatibility is cool, but I will want more than just that. And maybe they do have more than just that in mind, you know, but um, I would definitely want at least PS4, at the very least PS4 and PS3, at the very least. You know, would that make the system cost more? Hey, if so, I'd be willing to pay that extra, you know, amount of money. Um, But it will be backwards compat uh, compatible with PS4 games. Um, and another thing, this is going into a video that I already have written down, but I'm, I'm like waiting to like get closer to these next gen consoles. One thing I, I pray that PS5 does. And you know, they always say that, oh, the way the, uh, infrastructure is set up with the PlayStation Network, it makes things like this very difficult. Nigga, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> somehow do it. <laughs> One thing I would love, all the digital games that you have purchased from the PlayStation Network inside of the PlayStation Store, you know how when, like, I have so many games that I bought on PS3 from the PlayStation Store that, you know, they don't transfer over to PS4 and you can't play them. Like, I've bought the same games that I bought from the PlayStation Store on PS3 that I did on PS4. So it's just like, why can't they just transfer? If they could somehow, all of the digital purchases that you've bought on the PlayStation Store that is still tied into the PSN network... You know, and the infrastructure, if, if, if that could somehow transfer over and literally every game you've ever bought inside the PlayStation Store can just be played on PS5, that would be awesome to me. <laughs> you know, so I would love something like that. But this is just like the first news of uh, PS5. Last but not least, PlayStation VR will work with PS5 for the, uh, for the, um, unfortunate people that went out and actually bought a playstation <laughs> and actually bought a playstation vr first off uh my condolences um i'm sorry you wasted your money on it <laughs> you, seriously what was like the best game that playstation vr has had since 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 it's been out maybe resident evil 7 i think i just feel like and i don't want to call it a gimmick but that's why with all these like when it came to like the motion controls like playstation move and connect and then it got into like the vr and stuff and everything like that you can't be so quick to jump you just can't because something like that like i remember when the play when the playstation i cam first came out it's just with stuff like that you can't jump too quick you gotta wait to really see what happens because you legit have some people that bought a PlayStation VR on launch. And if I was to ask you, go get it, you'd be like, hold on. And you would <laughs> <laughs> and you would go inside the closet and you would bring out this white thing that's covered in dust and be like <laughs> dust would fly everywhere because some people legit don't even use the thing i just feel like no it, there's been very few games that have really like 
utilized and like really used that you know just really took potential of what everything you do and, and again vr it's kind of still you know new and, and uh stuff like that but literally like the, some of the most popular stuff that's vr related ain't even based on games it's porn <laughs> like honestly like i see way more vr porn stuff getting advertised in games i i, I just feel like when it comes to games is just not there yet, you know, so maybe they can improve on that going into the next gen generation, but it is good that for the people that, for the unfortunate people, <laughs> you know, that did go out and buy a PlayStation VR, they ain't being like, okay, we, we try, sucker. I'm sorry, <laughs> did they just move on? No, it will still be supported on PlayStation 5, and I'm sure it, it, it will get better, but I, I, I just need to be convinced more. I'm not convinced as far as playing games i'm not convinced with vr yet i'm not and i and and i've used it i've used the oculus i've used playstation vr um uh do they got any yeah they they got some other i don't remember the name of it i haven't used all of the vr headsets but i have used playstation vr and oculus and it's cool but it's just like i'm not doing this every day type cool i prefer a controller in my hand that's just me anyways though um that was all the uh you know Really news that was worth talking about. I will leave the link to the article at the interview if you want to, you know, read it for yourself. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's really all that was, uh, you know, worthy of uh, talking about. Um, what, what, I don't even want to say this now because I literally had this plan for a video. I, I, I'll still make the video. But what are some of y'all, like, wishes for uh, PS5? You know, uh, just, you know, some, some stuff that you guys would like to see PlayStation 5 do. Or, you know, the next Xbox. Xbox, uh, what the f Xbox 2. Xbox 720. Who knows what the next Xbox is going to be called? I don't care. This <laughs> y'all, y'all should, y'all should just say Xbox One, Xbox 360, Xbox. Uh, I don't know. 720, Xbox 1080. <laughs> just went by <my> resolution. <laughs> Xbox 540p. <laughs> you know, but uh, what are some you know of y'all thoughts? You know about the uh, details that Mark Cerny put out today about. The upcoming long-awaited, well, I shouldn't say long-awaited, but uh, highly anticipated next installment of the PlayStation hardware when it comes to the consoles. What, you know, are some of y'all, uh, you know, uh, hopes and dreams for it, I guess. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time, I will catch you guys in my next one, alright? Peace. <laughs>